f of x is equal to square root of 1 positive x over 1 negative x and we have to find f prime of x. That is, we have to find the derivative of this function uh, with respect to x. Okay, so if I find the derivative of the given function as it is, so uh, here we have square root. So first I have to find derivative for derivative for the square root. So further by chain rule, I have to do a derivative for this stuff. And uh, I find variable in both numerator and denominator. So when I find derivative for the stuff inside the square root, I'm have to use a uh, coefficient rule. So it, it seems to be taking a lot of work to get derivative for this function uh, if I find derivative as it is. So uh, for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use logarithmic differentiation. That is, I'm going to take natural logarithm on both sides. When I take natural logarithm on both sides, I can use the properties of logarithm. So to split up, uh, to split up this uh, stuff into parts so that the process of derivative will be easier. Okay, now let's take uh, natural logarithm on both sides. So natural logarithm of f of x is equal to uh, natural logarithm of square root of 1 positive x over 1 negative x. Okay, natural logarithm of f of x is equal to natural logarithm of natural logarithm of I can write the square root as the exponent that is uh, one half. Then I'll be getting one positive x over one negative x go to the exponent one half. Okay, now I can uh, start using the properties of logarithm. So first I'm going to use a power rule of lo uh, logarithm. That is I'm going to bring this exponent uh, in front of the logarithm. So I'm getting natural logarithm of f of x is equal to one half times natural logarithm of one positive x over one negative x. So here uh, in the argument of this natural logarithm, we have division of uh, two terms. So since we have a uh, division of two terms, I can use uh, the coefficient rule of logarithm. So I get natural logarithm of f of x is equal to one half times uh, natural logarithm of one positive x negative natural logarithm of one negative x. Okay, just a minute. Okay, using the properties of logarithm, uh, I just uh, split up this function into parts. So now I can find derivative on both sides with respect to x. So in this step, I'm going to find derivative uh, on both sides with respect to x. When I find derivative of this natural logarithm of uh, f of x, it will be 1 over f of x. So whenever I find a uh, derivative of a natural logarithm, I have to put 1 in numerator and uh, the argument of the natural logarithm should be taken in denominator. Okay, so far I've done derivative only for this natural logarithm. By chain rule, I have to do further derivative of this f of x with respect to x, that is f prime of x is equal to. So one of is a constant is multiplied by the variable part because this part contains variable x. So your constant one of is multiplied by the variable part. In derivative, whenever your constant is multiplied by the variable part, the constant should be kept as it is and we have to find the derivative of the variable part. Okay, now I'm going to find the derivative of this natural logarithm of 1 plus x. For that, we have 1 over 1 positive x. Okay, so far I've done derivative for this natural logarithm. By chain rule, I have to do derivative for this 1 positive x. So when I find derivative for this 1 positive x, this 1 will become 0. The derivative of this x with respect to x will be just 1. Negative, the same thing I have to do for this natural logarithm. I'll be getting 1 over 1 negative x. So by chain rule, when I do derivative for this 1 negative x, this one is a constant, it will become zero. The derivative of negative x is just negative one. So one over f of x times f prime of x is equal to one half. So one times one positive x will be one, one times uh, one is one uh, over one positive x. So we get one over one positive x and negative times negative will become positive. One times one is one over one negative x. Okay, one over f of x times f prime of x is equal to one half. So I have to simplify this. Uh, so here I don't have uh, the same denominator for both the fractions. And also the denominator contains variable. Here I'm going to use uh, cross multiplication uh, to get the addition of uh, these two fractions. So that is the numerator of the first fraction is multiplied by the denominator of the second fraction. And the numerator of the second fraction is multiplied by the denominator of the first fraction. And then we have to multiply the two denominators. So if I multiply this one by one negative x, I'll be getting one negative x positive. When I multiply this one by this one positive x, it will be one positive x. 
uh, over, I have to multiply the two denominators. So one positive x times one negative x. So here this negative x positive x will cancel out. So I get uh, one over f of x times f prime of x is equal to one over two times. So when I combine this one and one, uh, that is one positive one is two. And here we have one positive x times one negative x. So this is in the form of uh, a positive b times a negative b. So we know the algebraic identity that is uh, the product of two binomials in the form a positive b and a negative b equals to a square negative b square. So then I get uh, now our problem for a we have one for b we have x. So for a square negative b square we have to write one square negative x square. So and uh, we can cancel this two and two out. So let's continue on the next page. Okay, this is the last step uh, we have on the previous page. So almost we are done. Uh, so we have to solve for f prime of x. So for that, uh, we need to get rid of this one. So to get rid of this f of x in denominator, I'm going to multiply uh, both sides of this equation by f of x. So this f of x and f of x will cancel out. I get f prime of x is equal to one over one negative x square. And uh, f of x can be replaced by the stuff what we have for f of x. Actually, f of x is nothing but the given function. So when I go to the given function, f of x is equal to square root of one positive x over one negative x. So uh, we can uh, plug in the square root of one positive x over one negative x for f of x. So I get square root of one positive x over one negative x. Okay, now uh, I got the derivative of the given function that is uh, 1 over 1 negative x square times square root of 1 positive x over 1 negative x.